Cobb save Great Dane wandering with duct tape around her head and mouth. After the Darlington County Sheriff's Department received an anonymous call about a dog wandering the streets, they want to find her and found the large dog with her head and mouth duct tape shut. The deputies were able to catch the dog and safely remove the tape and took her to Darlington County Animal Shelter for care and treatment. Aurora's one very lucky lady. She was found in time to be saved, writes Darlington County Humane Society Rescue. A very boys polite lady, she's still in a bit of a daze having been picked up yesterday morning by the sheriff's department, with duct tape wrapped around her head and mouth. Fortunately for Aurora, the duct tape didn't do any permanent damage. The vets believe she's been taped up for a day and a half, but luckily the tape hadn't cut off any circulation. Here's Aurora's beautiful face. The vet feels she's a purebred Great Dane. She's one dull and proud lady. Estimated to be three to four years old, she has a sweet, gentle disposition and has the patience of a saint, says her rescuers. However, the Great Dane isn't out of the woods yet. The lovely lady is quite a bit underweight. She scored a 4 out of 9 on the body condition index, with 9 being optimal health. She's also loaded down with whipworms, hookworms, and unfortunately tested positive for life-threatening heartworms. Her treatment will be expensive, but her rescuers are confident they'll get her healthy. As the Sheriff's Department is still actively investigating her abandonment and abuse, Aurora's not yet free to be adopted. No people are welcome to submit an adoption application. The Humane Society said they're very hopeful the authorities will find out who committed this atrocity against Aurora. As a county, we do not have a high population of Great Dames in residence, so surely someone knows something about her. Paws crossed. We love our animals in Darlington County and it breaks our hearts to see any of our pets being abused. Anyone with information is asked to contact the Darlington County Sheriff's Office at 843-398-4501 or 843-398-4920. Aurora's now in foster care and is doing awesome. The Sheriff's Department hasn't yet fully released her to us as her abuse case is still very active, but in the meantime she's getting pampered and the red carpet has been rolled out for her. In her own words, Hello everyone, I wanted to let you know I spent my first night in my foster home. It was exciting. My foster mom picked me up at the shelter and I got to ride in the back of her SUV. I sprawled out and relaxed while she drove. We got home and we went to the garage where she put my crate together. I just watched her and wondered what she thought was going to happen with that thing. She tried to get me to go into it and I heard her say I wasn't great trained. She gave up as she had to go pick up her dog from his playdate, so I just hung out in the garage and waited for her to return. I met my foster brother D, and he's a golden retriever mix and super nice. I also met her two cats. They don't like me but she said they'll come around as they have other foster dogs or they can stay in their crates when I'm in the house. The one tried to kill me but all I did was try to get away and hide. My foster mom gave me big hugs and told me I was a good girl. I guess I passed the cat test and didn't show any bad tendencies towards them. We went on a little walk and I loved that. I want to go on walks all the time. I see yards with fences in her neighborhood and would love to have one with my very own forever home. I also want to run and I've secretly decided if my foster mom will run then I'll get in the crate so I guess I get to live crate free. Just don't tell her my secret please. I met my neighbor and her husband Em and children. I liked them all. The one little boy was only as tall as my head and I could do was love on him while he loved on me. Emma's so nice. I could just follow him everywhere and I did try but this leash thing stopped me. Well, I'm getting tired and right now I'm curled up on the couch with my foster brother Dee and my foster mom so I'm gonna sign off for now but I promise to give you lots of updates so you can see how I'm doing. Thank you so much for the generous donations. They'll help me and many other dogs I met at the shelter. They work so hard out there to take care of all the unwanted dogs and cats. They need all the financial help and volunteer help. Love, Aurora. Well, share Aurora's story with your family and friends.